Hey guys, it is Brooke with The Junk Parlor and every time I put my washer and dryer on social media, everybody's always like, oh, you have a speed queen. What do you think of your speed queen? We've been thinking about a speed queen. Um, how are you liking your speed queen? And so I just figured I would just get on here and um, kind of walk you through filling the washing machine, emptying um, the dryer and kind of some of the issues that we've had and that way you can make a decision on if you think this would be good for your family. Okay, this is my washer and dryer area. And every time I share it on social media, I always get a lot of questions because I do have a speed queen. So I thought I would just kind of talk you through um, our thoughts on the speed queen now that we've had it a few years. And sorry, the dog is drinking. But we've literally, um, my, my sense of time is terrible. So I want to say it's probably been about three years. Um, when we put this cabinet in, we had front loaders. And we really liked our front loaders. We really had no preference on a top load or a front load. So the top load, um, we have them away from the wall a bit. Who knows how dusty it is back there, but um, because otherwise the door would not stay open, okay? So they're scoot, scooted forward a little bit um, for that reason. That was an easy fix from the front loaders. So here's what the inside of it looks like. Um, I'm going to tell you about ours, and then you're just going to have to kind of decide for yourself. Um, here is specific what we have, which I guess I don't know if that is top secret or not, but, um, if it looks shiny and new, it's because it is, um, we got every single thing replaced at one point, um, because it must be a common thing. This part right here on like the drum was like all scratched up and just like chunks of the plastic were gone. Now that got fixed. Ours did not make noise like most people. So when the repair guy came, he, cause I said it was making a crazy noise, but it literally only made a couple a crazy noise a couple of times. And he said, Oh, it's probably your drum is rubbing. So it must rub on something. And I'm not really sure why this is all black. But this must rub on something, uh, be a pretty common problem, and then it like shaves off all this plastic. So he said there probably would be plastic shavings in our washing machine, but there were not. Um, really didn't notice anything except for the couple squeaking. And then at a different point, it just stopped um, working correctly. I can't even remember what the problem was. But this next time when they come, he literally replaced everything. I think it was something with the locking mechanism, now that I'm thinking about it. And the locking mechanism um, just kept locking the lid. And what they thought was going to be an easy fix, they ended up literally fixing everything. Because whatever they fixed didn't work. So we pretty much leave it on heavy duty all the time. I mean, we are a family of five. And we have a lot of clothes. Everybody works out. Everybody goes through a couple of outfits a day at least. Um, you just hold this to start it. Um, extra rinse. Looks like we have it off and we probably always have it off. We do have it on autofill, although probably we always have it on a large load. And we keep ours on cold. We don't really change any of these things. And I say we, but I really should say my husband. My husband does the laundry. Um, I am the person who I just throw everything in there and call it good. And I've converted him, but when we first got married, he was let's sort everything kind of person. We never use um, bleach. And um, what is this for? Look how disgusting that is. I don't know if you can tell. The light's not hitting it in there. Um, but it is disgusting in there, just from dirty clothes, but we don't ever use a fabric softener either. And you can kind of see here that 
we have an interesting assortment. So I always turn my lid over on my dryer sheets because when the dryer's going, it rattles, but if it's flipped over, it doesn't. We have this one um, because one person suggested to me to use powder and that powder was the best thing for your machine. So we used powder a lot. And then when the guy totally dismantled the washing machine, he's like, ah, if I would use powder. So then we started using the pods and I would put the pods in here. And now um, this round, at least we are using liquid detergent. So it is just sitting there. But my friend um, Hillary put them in like a decanter. So that is next on my list is to get some decanters up here. So this we used to use those um, unballs, the scented balls. We don't have those anymore, and the guy, um, laundry guy, was not a fan of that. And then here is my rags, so gorgeous um, to look at every day. But um, so that's kind of what we got going on here on the top. Now on the dryer, hopefully we have nothing too risque in here. Okay, so it literally just got done going. Well, I guess it's been a little bit because it's it's chilly. Here is my biggest pet peeve on this machine, okay? See where the um, vent is, or lint trap, okay? When I pull clothes out of here, then all of these clothes pick up that lint, and then the lint is stuck on our clothes. I hate that, terrible invention, terrible invention. Okay, do you see how much buildup there is in that screw and I clean it out but look how much dirt gets in there look how much dirt gets stuck here it's terrible terrible invention and I mean I can get my fingernail down in there and clean some of it out um, and you can unscrew it if you can get your screw in where all that dirt is but I mean it's a constant okay so this part I hate it and they need to redo, rethink something. Um, it is very easy, you don't have to like pull out anything. You know, like my old one, I had to pull out a thing, whatever you call it, a vent. Um, this one you don't, but shit gets trapped everywhere and that's just not a good idea. Not a good idea. So I don't like that, but that's what it looks like. So Cash, my 12 year old did this load so who knows what mom's loads normally look like as far as how much clothes are in here okay so we're gonna take this out and um you can just kind of see what the dryer looks like and how many clothes are in here so again this is cash's load of laundry so like i mentioned if you have um your lint trap is full it's going to um, come off on the clothes. So I always try, once I've figured that out, I always try and clean this out first, throw that away, and then pull the clothes out. So really we haven't had too many problems with the dryer. So this was, again, my 12 year old <laughs> turned it on, so I'm just saying, if he had the knob where it's supposed to be maxed out, these are just a gnat damp, gnat, okay? But we've got towel, 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 sweatpants, sweatshirt. So lots of like thick things. Um, so a lot of times we do run the dryer like one and a half times maybe. Um, that could be the, what's in it and then Let's just be honest, we fluff it quite a few times because no one can remember to do the laundry or to come fold it. Um, and I'm just keeping it real. Here are, this is my worst laundry basket, but all of the handles are um, broken from everybody carrying them and being full of laundry. Okay, so I am a not measure person. Um, my grandma always said you don't need as much laundry detergent as you think because you still have laundry detergent on your clothes. So I'm just putting some in. I always put it in first before I put the clothes in. And then the biggest thing for me, and who knows if I'm doing this right or not, but this is just how I do it. 
So I am going to put a dirty clothes in until it gets to the top. I just make sure to let them fall on their own. I am not um, pushing them down. I just let them fall in there, okay? So that looks like a pretty good amount. And then we shut, shut the lid, not slam it, sorry. And then I hold that and it gets started. Okay, you can hear it filling up. Telling me you need to start it again, I think. So overall, we're very happy with our uh, Speed Queen set. So honestly, overall, I think we're very happy with our Speed Queen set. Um, it was a little bit to get used to doing a top load after we'd gotten into the front load. Honestly, my biggest pet peeve is that damn uh, dryer vent and you can see why. Um, but otherwise, we've been very happy. And one of the best things, honestly, has been the warranty that comes with it because like I've said, we have had issues and we haven't had it that long. But every time we've had issues, somebody has came um, really that's credited to where we got the, the um, washer and dryer, but everything's under warranty. So something didn't fix something, we got a, got a new part, um, you know, then they ended up doing all new parts. Literally we have a brand new washing machine, just not the shell because they couldn't figure out what was um, causing the issues this last time. So, I mean, the warranty has been wonderful. Um, and it's been great for a family of five just because we do go through so many clothes. That's one of the reasons that we picked this one because it's supposed to be um, like what they have at the laundromat. And you know, when you have five grown people washing clothes every single day, then that's what you need. And we literally do at least a load a day.